I don't get. Are you a dirty boy, okay? Why would you even think this? I think you are thinking about gin just because some people are gins. Dead the idea. Someone said water tastes better without ice cubes. You didn't want You didn't want Hi guys, my name is Lara and I'm a content creator living in Canada. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you. Come get ready with me. And while I'm doing that, I'll be sharing my unpopular opinions. But let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I really hope that you guys can hear me like hear me hear me maybe i should put this like here i hope that my people's background noise is not overshadowing my own right i have a wedding so i'll be doing my makeup for the event and i'll also be sharing my thoughts on some unpopular opinions so yeah i really want to like rush through this so most times i do get ready with me videos but guess what most times my get ready with me videos don't make it out today that's just the truth like they do not make it out there i would shoot the video do the whole thing and then i'll find out that oh maybe i stopped talking and then i focused on the makeup things like that like so every time that happens to me hopefully this one makes it out there yeah so i have applied my serum already i'm just going to be doing it with... thank god i did that because this was my night prep <laughs> Hey, because I also look at it that this one is blending in, right? Like most times, obviously, my morning cream does not blend in because this particular moisturizer that I'm using, it leaves a white cast. So I mainly use it when I'm not going anywhere or like under makeup, like so makeup based moisturizer. So I'm just going to be applying moisturizer now and then going in to start. If you're a new subscriber, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. Yes, I love the new subscribers as <laughs> well. I love you so much. Thank you for the constant support. I really do not take you guys for granted. Please, in everything that we are doing, forget about my edges because I don't know how to draw edges. So please focus on my face and forget about the edges. Ideally, I should have done this in my uh, content space, right? But my content creation space. But I want to be fast. So the moment, the time I'm going to be using to set camera lighting this one that one i don't have it this is how i look when i'm not going anywhere at home like and when i know that i'm not going to shoot any video <laughs> so trust me most of the time this is how i look and this is just because this moisturizer has a weird white cast for dark skin tone medium skin tone girlies like more so i changed my lighting direction i think that this one is more even shabo you guys get it so what we're going to be doing now is doing the foundation and then yeah let's get right into the assistant topic for this video <laughs> we're using the maybelline foundation this has like now nah, this thing has been working for me since i found it and yeah i don't think we're ever leaving each other anytime soon yeah um i don't know if i should use a matte primer because i don't know how the face is going to be but since i don't know how the face is going to be and all of that i really want my face to breathe so at least all of that i'm just going to be putting setting powder all over my face so like it can dry out any excess oil i'm not doing anything aside that no primer nothing and i know that i'll be shining in this video <laughs> I might be shining as the makeup goes on, and that's because there's no fan in the bathroom. So I know that whatever sweats, water, anything that I'm secreting right now is not going to happen. So the first on the list, can money buy happiness? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I believe money can buy happiness so to an extent. Like it depends on what you mean by happiness. <laughs> Maybe we should start from there. Like, are you playing? I don't know, but I strongly believe. In fact. I strongly believe I stand with the notion that money can buy happiness to an extent, yeah, to an extent. Because looking, look at it now. Like, why can't it buy happiness? And besides, it depends on what your happiness is. But even if, like, if your happiness is good health, now I know that okay, 
there's a limit to what doctors can do and everything like that okay yeah but i said that i don't know i believe money can buy happiness to an extent like uh, if you have if your if your own form of happiness now is going on trips and all those things won't you be happy when you get the alert or maybe somebody books a trip for you to travel to one of your favorite countries and things like that and you get to take it off your bucket list you would right so i believe it can should be able to buy happiness but if you have contrary opinions please drop it in the comment section so this thing that they use to spray foundation i really I, in fact i really do it who told me that I should try it? So let's see. I don't buy my foundation of money. It says that is it the lens that goes wrong here? I can start all over. Still seeing. Still that told me to do this. So let's see. But I didn't put too much there because of fear. But yeah. Another one is that online school is better than in person. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not even going to lie. I don't think that online school is better than in person. Because ordinary and um, more this thing that we do, I feel like this foundation is too much to be my life. Hey, good. But I'll blame the job. Let's go. So ordinary and um, this thing that we do, what is it called? Um, what is this thing? Online service. Online online service that we do. Do you sit down, put off your data, and like focus on the online service? Yes, I'm asking you do that. So how much more? That's God do. So how much more like classes? I believe that people just wind themselves when they see that online online school. Yes, it's better in the sense that okay, you can do it at your own time, right? You don't have to like follow a timetable and things like that. But aside that, attention span wise, I believe in person is better. Yeah, attention span wise because. When you are watching a uh, online service, don't you use to use that time to be running and be doing house chores one thing or the other? Yeah, so if you are coming here to form, oh yeah, I learn better with online classes. It's a lie. I put it to you that you are lying, my dear. You are a liar. Take it and leave it. Take it and don't leave it. Just keep going. Like, yeah. So I believe online classes, they are better when it comes to maximizing your time, like you can do it at your own time and all over. But like anything aside that, you are lying. Yeah. But I like it because like I can study at my own pace. I can study when I want to study and not when somebody wants me to resume somewhere. And like another thing is you don't have to go out. You don't have to think about traffic. You don't have to think about getting the first seat in a class. Things like that. Like once you sign in yeah, into your class, you don't have to think about outfits, right? Dressing up and all. So this the other one is crop tops are ugly. Are you playing? Like who said that? The best thing is to find me. Because we need to fight each other. Like how would you say crop tops are ugly? I don't know. For me, I'm a crop top person and I believe that crop tops are easy fashion. Like you can go from zero to hundred with a crop top. To be honest, like you don't even have to like put so much accessories and things like that. You can switch it up with a crop top. And this is regardless of if it is um what's it called? If you have flat on me or not. I believe any size can rock a crop top. Depends on how you rock it. Like I've seen different variations of crop top, not even the ones that review so much. Some people will wear nice mesh bodysuits under and then knit it up with a crop top, baggy jeans and stuff. Are you joking? I feel like that. Like you don't like how that sounds. You don't like how that looks. Whoever said crop tops are ugly, they don't know what they're saying. Yeah, the person is hungry. The person needs food. Um, tell them that Lara said it. Crop tops are not ugly. Yeah, they are not. They are not. They are not. It is easy fashion. Like I really like that a lot. All right. So yeah, the next on my list is laying your bed is pointless. I think that this is from a dirty human being side. Why would you say laying your bed is pointless? I don't get. Are you a dirty boy? Okay. Why would you even think this? I feel that it is aesthetically pleasing. Coming back home and seeing that oh, your bed is so nice. Well. For me, I think that 
however or maybe it's a psychological thing for me but like however my bed is really determined how my night is going to be trust me like it really determines a lot like why would i come to a scattered bed why would i want to lie down on a scattered bed why would i want to do that it is sort of therapeutic right so yeah that's what i think the next one on my list is this smash or pass smash or pass that i see everywhere like why would people subject themselves to things like that you just go on a show and allow somebody to come and be rating you did i be smash or pass i don't know but like if you have esteem issues and you're going for something like that you are just setting up yourself to be born yeah who started it i don't know the person needs to be short because that person has created a pandemic everywhere smash or pass what do you think about this person what do you think about that person is he a 10 is he a 100 i don't like it get it off the internet please i about to something but let's end it there like why so angry there the next on my list is this body surgery oh god bbl this thing is already becoming a trend now like it's no longer oh people are doing it for esteem issues it's already becoming a trend so if you're part of people that are doing it just because some people are doing it or just because some people look a certain type of way i don't know if you are thinking about doing it yeah it's still better we can even sort out the problem there if you are thinking about doing it just because some people are doing it dead the idea because when it's no longer a trend what's going to happen you're going to remove it and then become a certain way back right are you willing to subject yourself to lifetime torture yeah because of some bad decisions that you make when something was trending but if you did it for like esteem issues right maybe okay you have dealt with body shaming and like you want to feel good about yourself and things like that then yeah it's okay be it's your money now but that's the thing if you want to do something do it we're not one that you come out and be looking like ah shush yeah you know what i mean but like if you want to do something do it well yeah so while i'm doing my nose contour let's talk about concerts right i saw that someone said concerts are like concerts are overrated that just sit down and watch music videos was that person on some type of crack like how will you compare concert and a music videos together it's a music video for a reason you can watch it in your house right i've not been to like all these concerts maybe them i don't know you get what i mean but like honorary praise with yourself i'm already losing my mind right there's just something about like now the music wanting to dance with other people as opposed to sitting there in your parlor and watching a music video and then youtube ads do not allow you to watch it in peace i don't know but like you can't compare those two things together i don't know why somebody felt that was something necessary you were supposed to say but for me never i will surely go like i will surely pick concerts over i will surely pick concerts over what's it called music videos like they are not the same they can't be compared another one that i saw was christmas trees should be should be real and not fake I don't know whoever is inventing these things, but like, why would I want to be applying water on something that is not fake with something that is not fake that is designed with artificial um, decors? I don't understand. Like, I'm putting lights, all these lights, and everything, and then at the same time, I want to be watering the plants because I don't want it to die. Whoever said this, I don't know what person was thinking, but like, this match should, should be fake. This is the one that is inside the house. The old one outside, maybe you're not really like putting your mind to it. But the ones inside the house, they should be fake. Thank you. I don't have time to be watching any plants. The last on my list of unpopular opinions is someone said water tastes better without ice cubes. You didn't want You didn't want I don't understand. Where is water? Where is ice cubes? You can see that all these unpopular opinions. Be like, it's just somebody that sat down somewhere and was like, oh, today, let me go and say me everything. Because it's what makes ice cubes. It's not water. So why are you coming to say that water tastes better without ice cubes? When it melts, it's not the same thing. I don't understand, but that's what someone said. That brings me to the end of my chaotic get ready with me and the end of my chaotic unpopular opinions video. But did you enjoy it? And like, what do you think? Oh, yeah, your girl is done. What do you call my makeup? I'm just going to apply my setting powder. And that's all about it.
this is everything how do i look guys and thank you so much for watching this video i'm going to be showing you how i look after don't worry let's go guys your girl is ready 